530 That's 530-8003. Jets have premium storage units are indoors, climate controlled, and they have 24 hour surveillance and on-site management. You have 24 hour seven day a week access to your unit. Sizes range from 5 by 5 to 10 by 25. They also have outside covered and uncovered spaces available for vehicles, boats, trailers, and RVs. Jets have premium storage on the Way Cross Highway in Jessup. An exceptional car buying experience is closer than you think. Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear has the best prices, service, and selection. Why go anywhere else? At Mike Birch, you don't have to haggle, and you'll get top dollar for your trade. Our finance team's ready to help, even when others can't. No matter where you are, buying a new car has never been easier than at Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear and at MikeBirchFord.com. Right on the corner, right on the price. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch. At Bronhurst Landfill, keeping our communities safe is the most important thing we do. Our local team of environmental managers, engineers, and scientists ensure that the long-term management of the landfill is safe for our workers, customers, and the environment. To learn more, visit our website at www.bronhurstlandfill.com, or you can go to the website, click Visit Us, and sign up for a tour to see firsthand how we operate. We hope to see you soon. Good morning. You're listening to the Big Dog, WIFO FM in Jessa 105.5 on your FM dial. Bud Shepard here with you along with Bob Morgan on this Wednesday morning. It is the 13th day, 13th day of December. Hope you're getting that Christmas shopping done right here in Jessa, Scriven, Odom, and Wayne County. Going to be sunny today, lots of sunshine today, a little cooler today. High around double nickels, 55 for the high right now, 39 degrees here in southeast Georgia. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Mike Birch Ford and Black's here by Jessup Premium Stores, located out here on the Way Cross Highway. Also brought to you by Republic Services and by Murphy Biller Supply, located on Northeast Broad Street in downtown Jessup. And we've got Jim Poindexter in here with us this morning once again. And Jim. What hat are you wearing today? Oh, I'm going to be wearing my hospice hat today. Okay. Um, as, as everybody knows, Hospice of South Georgia, uh, we're still the only nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. And, um, and coming up tomorrow, tomorrow evening at 5.30 at our office there on 1625 uh, Sunset Boulevard, we're going to be having our annual tree lighting uh, ceremony. Um, and the Christmas tree is, um, is located uh, this year. We have a Christmas tree in our memorial garden. Okay. And, um, and we're inviting the public to come out. Anybody, whether they've ever used hospice or not, can, um, can place a card in memory of or in honor of a friend, a family member, uh, you know, a, a stranger, anybody that uh, that they would like to uh, put a card on in memory of or in honor of. Okay. Uh, you can put that next to either one of the ornaments or one of the lights on the tree. And um, it's we've got a little short program uh, that'll be um, that that we'll be uh, providing and some refreshments afterwards. But uh, we've got some of the members of the children's choir from the Jessup First Baptist Church that are going to be there doing some uh, singing some Christmas carols as well. So um, we'd like for everybody to come out and visit with us and um, and uh, and and share in our uh, tree lighting and uh, in placing the uh, the cards on the tree. Okay. And once again, this event's going to be when? It's going to be tomorrow evening at 5:30. Tomorrow evening, uh, so it'll be Thursday the 14th at 5 p.m. 5.30. 5.30, and yes. you all can come? Anybody can come. Everybody is invited. Okay. And, uh, so um, it's, it's um, we started this about three, uh, I think this about two years ago, we started this, and uh, and it has really been, it's really been good, and, um, and uh, we've had, um, we've had some good time sharing, uh, and, uh, memories and laughing and and uh and remembering our our family members and friends uh, and uh, so it's really a good time uh we have some great music like i said the the children some of the children's choir from first baptist church here in jessup is going to be there uh singing some christmas carols so come out in here and listen to her um uh listen to them sing and um and then participate in our uh, tree lighting and uh, hanging of the cards on the tree. Okay, so, and so tomorrow at 5.30 there at Hospice across from Sunset Boulevard, 
Uh, I mean, on Sunset Boulevard across from Bill Mars Park. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And, and there is no charge for for this. It's it's all free. Uh, we encourage people to come out. Um, uh, there will be cards available there. So if you haven't had one filled out already, uh, you can come by, stop by. It takes just a couple of minutes to put her name and a and a comment on the card. And, okay. Uh, and then hanging on the tree. Okay, and uh, tomorrow at 530 there at Hospice. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have Jim Poindexter in here from Hospice. So just briefly, once again, explain ex what's going to happen just in case folks just tuned in. All right, what we have is we have a, a Christmas tree which is uh, located out in our Memorial Garden area. Um, and it is uh, decorated and, and people can stop by um, they can call or, you know, and have a card filled out earlier um, and uh, to be placed on the tree. They can stop by tomorrow evening um, and at the program, the cards will be available. They can fill out a card in memory of or in honor of uh, a friend, a family member, a, a stranger for anybody and, um, and put it on our tree. Okay, so it's uh, we, in memory of or honor of. And it doesn't have to, have to be anybody that's been associated with the hospice in any type of way. That's correct. That's okay. correct. Uh, we call the tree our tree of life. It's, um, it's uh, there to, 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 you know, to bring back the memories of our, uh, of our friends and family members that have, uh, that have passed on. And, uh, or you can put one in honor of someone that is, uh, that is in your family that is, that is still living. And um, it, it's, it's a great opportunity. We have a... Um, we've had a lot of these in the past, and, um, and we share, and of course, after the, the program, uh, we'll have uh, some light refreshments in, inside the, um, the, the building and inside our office, and it'll, be, it'll just be a time of uh, reflecting and, um, and rejoicing. Okay, and you've got entertainment that'll be there, too. Yes, that's correct. The, some of the children's choir from the Jessup First Baptist Church. Sure. All right, all tomorrow at 530 at Hospice on Sunset Boulevard mm -hmm. across from Bill Mars Park. Everyone's invited, and you've got cards there that folks can fill out if they don't already have one. I can yes. see it right there. Hand it over to me, please. It's a, um, a yellow card here that you can put in a tree of life and memory or honor of the name and whatever little message you want to put on there and then you know just hang it on the tree and it stays there through the christmas season is that correct yes that's correct and it's all free it's all free okay sounds good okay. and um anything else about hospice that you want to mention in this time uh no that that was just about it that so, was it yeah well, we'll that's a big event going we'll on look, tomorrow look forward to seeing a lot of people out there tomorrow so um all right so, so let's uh take off the hospice hat uh, for yeah, this, for Jim Point Dexter, and let's uh, move on to the Jess of VFW. Sitting here looking at this picture of this just gorgeous Lane Smoker cooker uh, that you're going to be uh, giving away on Friday, the 15th. Friday, Friday. Friday night. Yes, we're going to do the drawing at 6 p.m. Uh, Friday evening at the VFW. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, uh, I'm. I'm really excited about this because all the this was a fundraising uh, event for us, um, and the money goes to our building fund to help us. Uh, uh, we're, it, it was actually a little bit cheaper for us to build on, add on, and two new up to date. <laughs> um, restrooms uh, for, today, for men, rules and yeah, regulations and all that, yeah, yeah. handicapped, ba bathroom. uh, accessible bathrooms, and uh, than it was to to renovate the existing ones because uh, that is, uh, you know, we're talking about fifties uh, plumbing and uh, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it, so it's uh, it's really good, um, and we appreciate all the folks that have participated in this so far. Um, it's still not too late to purchase tickets. Tickets are just $10 each. $10 each. And they're available at the Jessa VFW right there on Project Street behind, yes. um, uh, behind the Farmer's Market. Also available at uh, Harris Ace Hardware at uh, uh, Blue Coat Tactical on Macon Street at Cherry Street in downtown Jessa and at Murphy Builder Supply located on Peace Broad Street. Yes, that's correct. You and get tickets there, 10 bucks each. You'll have them, you can put them in, what are you going to put them in, a big barrel we, box? What are you yeah, going to put them in? We're, we're going to have a big barrel uh -huh. out there and uh, get it all cranked up and um, 
and mix them up real good, and um, and then we'll have um, uh, 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 have the drawing at 6 p.m. and make the announcement. At 6 p.m. Uh, this Friday. Uh, this Friday. Okay. And um, and of course. Uh, uh, if, if you're not at the VFW, we will be posting it on Facebook. Um, and, and give the folks a call. And, and we will be giving the folks a call. All right, and, see, uh, you don't have to press it to win. And this is a beautiful smoker. It's, it's, a, it's a great smoker grill that you can use there at your house, but it also it's on a trailer with wheels and a hitch, so you can take it with you wherever you make it that you may need a smoker cooker. Yes, that's correct. And it has been very difficult. Um, uh, everybody has been um, asking, uh, can we try it out? Can we try, try it out? out? <laughs> no, we don't want to use one to get away. And, and these uh, lane smokers are made right down the road and they hunt them. And uh, they ship them all over the country. These are very popular smoker cookers. The lane uh, smoker grills is one of the top manufacturers of the smoker grills um, in the nation. And they make them all sizes. Um, uh, the, the, the big commercial ones as well as these. Uh, th this was a really good, it, it's called an individual family uh, smoker grill. Right. Uh, it's it's large enough you could take to the lake or to a park and, and for family reunion, a large group and, right. and cook. Or put it in your backyard and just cook for the family. Just cook for the family. Okay, and that drawing's going to be held Friday night, December 15th at 6 p.m. at the Jessica VFW. Tickets just 10 bucks each. Go on by Murphy Builder Supply on Northeast Park Street in downtown Jessup. Also by Code Blue Tactical on Macon at Cherry Street. Go to Harris Ace Hardware and to the Jessup VFW. I'll all have tickets. So still plenty of time to get that $10 ticket to have a chance to win this beautiful Lane Smoker Cooker. Yes. All right. That's it. Well, anything else? Uh, that should take care of me this morning. Okay, Jim, we wish you a speedy recovery from uh, them putting, uh, uh, redoing your knee there. Well, And we, you'll be back on the tennis courts real soon, right? I uh, hope. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dr. Kennerly did advise me to stay out of the swamp until it heals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And use that crutch. I, I saw you yesterday not using that crutch, so yeah. we don't want to have them uh, taking you back yeah. to the dock because you're not doing the job, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Are you scheduled to come in between now and uh, Christmas? No, I'm not, and I would like to wish everybody a very merry Christmas and, um, and a happy new year. Um, it's uh, be safe. Mm -hmm. And um, but it, I know everybody will not be with uh, able to be with uh, all of their family, but I know everybody will be thinking about their families and um, and enjoying the Christmas this year. So okay, Jim Boyd, Dexter in this morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, we'll be back more of the world famous Butch and Bob show in a minute. Can you find it? The Georgia Dermatology WIFOFM Big Dog Country Cash Can. Imagine, if you will, a specially marked can hidden in Wayne County, Georgia, worth $1,055. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, find the cash can. Clues to the can's location will be read Monday through Friday live on WIFO at 7.10 a.m., 12.50 p.m., 3.03 p.m., and 5.50 p.m. Shortly after 5 p.m. on Friday, the clues will be posted online at BigDogCover.com. No purchase necessary. You must be 18 to claim the prize. Complete rules online at BigDogCover.com. Eight twenty three, Big Dog Country, WIFO, 105.5 FM in Jessup. And good morning, Bob. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Good, good. Anything that's particular on your mind this morning that you want to discuss as we move into the show here? Not really. Oh, come on. You just can't sit there and say not really. <laughs> There's got to be something going on that you want to that you want to mention or go over or talk about. Um, uh, I know that the bowl games are coming up real soon. Which ones are do you are you really going to pay attention to? And, and like other than, of course, the national championship four bowls, That's four games. No, that's all that's I'm concerned about. Four that's games. Just that. No other ones. You're saying, hey, I really like this matchup and want to watch it. I'm sure you're going to be watching a lot of them, right? I watch them all because you know there's contest for 
state dinners, you know. So I got my oh, those tests for state dinners. I got my, got my sheets filled out, so. Uh, so what's your favorite state? I like the Delmonico. The Monaco, of course, that's the, the premium, I like prime rib, T-bone, you name it. I like any steak dinner. Any steak, any steak dinner, as long as you don't have to cook it, right? And make, uh, or cook, pay for it. I say Georgia fans, all they're concerned about is the playoff, you know. That's all that matters. Can we beat Oklahoma? Can who we want to play in the championship game? I mean, well, Wayne County has said to pass the dinner. Yeah, the, I've, I've been asked that question, um, are you going? I can't afford it. Yeah, Both. I can't afford to go either, but there's a lot of folks from Wayne County that are going, right? Yeah, a lot of Wayne Countyans are headed out to Pasadena and making their Christmas trip. I know a lot of families going, so wish them a safe travel. We do wish them safe travels. I'm being optimistic, and the championship game's back in Atlanta, so See, trying, go to that. trying to be at that. Okay. Can't do both. No, can't do both. Well, hopefully Georgia, you know, they say that uh, defense wins championships, and you know, that's what we're talking about at the V, that, um, that uh, you know, since uh, you know, defenses win championships, that Georgia's got one of the best defenses in the country, and Oklahoma's used to giving up a lot of points, they score a lot of points, but they're used to giving up a lot of points, so hopefully Georgia's defense will be able to hold them in, and, um, you know, from the game can um, score enough points, get that running game going, control that clock, win, win the game. Just interesting line. Like I said, when the game first was announced, Oklahoma was a three point favorite. Now Georgia's a two and a half point favorite. So that's how far the lines moved since it was announced the game would be played in Pasadena. So Georgia now the favorite to win that ball game. Most people believe Georgia will be able to run on Oklahoma's defense and keep Baker Mayfield on the sidelines and limit his chances to score points. So. But I don't believe Baker Mayfield's seen a defense as quick as Georgia's. Roquan Smith, Lorenzo Carter, and those guys should cause Baker Mayfield to run for his life. And as I said, you can't throw a finger back. So That's true. So Georgia fans are feeling good about it. Clemson, Alabama game is still a dogfight, still a toss-up. Is it still a toss-up? Is Alabama still favored by a couple? Or? I think Alabama's favored by a point, point and a half. It's a real, you know, it's almost a pick em game. So. Okay. Well, where's that game being held? Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. Right, New Orleans, okay. And is that just something they've worked out there with the committee that these uh, championship bowl games are just, you know, are moved around to different it's ones? All, it's all predetermined. You know, different. Okay. You know, a lot of folks have been talking about, you know, moving up to 18, but didn't you mention that, that the contract on this is through 2025? Just, they're not changing anytime soon. So, uh, that, that, that the agreement's... To 25, but of course, all agreements can be changed. They can change it, but they like it the way it is. They, they like it. They like the Who's they? Everybody in college football, the TV networks, the, the TV games. networks. No, TV would want more games, more money there. I think it's the college presidents is who it is. I mean, they're the they're the final say so. I mean, uh, the, the college presidents are the final say so. I mean, they're over the coaches, they're over the athletic director. And we, we found that out at Georgia. Uh, what the president of the university wants, they usually get. I got a simple solution. They just don't want to go with a simple solution. I mean, the simple solution is to let all conference champions in and go three at large and get eight teams in. Yeah. I mean, it's simple. That way, you know, if you win the conference, you're in. But they don't want that. They like the controversy. Yeah, I don't know. It's the only sport out there in, in college that uh, doesn't have a playoff system, and, and I don't understand why they can't at least move it to eight. But we're just thankful they have four right now, and that Georgia's one of the four. We've got a playoff system. For years, we didn't have a playoff system. That's right. We got it now. In the top four, get in. If you don't get in the top four, you go somewhere else. But what they've done is they just eliminated the excitement of the, you know, the other bowl games really don't matter. I mean, they're just all for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> have they really, really mattered other than the, the maybe the four or five big ball games? You know, they're, they're the only ones that really mattered. Uh, and usually what they did in the last several years is they put number one against number two for all the marbles. And uh, for the past few years before the uh, playoff system came in. But hopefully one day they'll get it up to eight. And as you mentioned, all the conference champions will be able to get in, plus three at large, and, and um, that should pretty well do it right there. You're still wearing your SEC uh, 2017 champs for the Georgia Bulldogs. Nice looking cap. 
excited, ready for my national championship hat. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It's been a very long time. It's been a long time, Bob. Long time since 1980. So. My senior year in college, I remember it well. Was it every game? Every single one of them. Okay. As the sports reporter for the campus radio station. I did a good press pass in the book. Lost a Sugar Bowl press pass. I knew it was a good day when I saw my seat was number 34. <laughs> you knew it was a good day. All right, Bob. All right, it's 8.30. Anything else? All right, have a good day. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear, by Jessup Premium Stores, located out on the Waycross Highway, by Republic Services, and by Murphy Builder Supply, located on Northeast Barn Street in downtown Jessup. Now, coming up soon, we're going to give away some more free passes to the Christmas light show and train ride at Okie Pinocchi Swamp Park. Very popular tickets, great place to go.